general confusion in students when they try and solve questions that involve population and sample standard deviation. Although both standard deviations measure variability, there are differences between them both. And in this video, I will highlight these differences. And also, I will show you how to solve for both standard deviations using the Casio FX115 ES Plus calculator. In statistics, a population is a collection of people, items or events about which you want to make inferences. A sample is a subset of people, items or events from a larger population that you collect and analyze to make inferences. Let's assume we have a bank service call center and we have distribution of customer service calls length for a month. There are 30,000 calls for that month. This would be population and we calculate population mean and population standard deviation. Now let's assume we take a sample of 80 calls from this population. In such case, we calculate the mean of these 80 calls and we calculate sample standard deviation. Now let's do some problems. Question number one. John's salary for his seven years career in ACME in thousands was at fo as follows. 27, 33, 35, 39, 42, 46, and 51 thousands. Calculate the standard deviation. This is population standard deviation because it is his total of seven years of his career in this company. We have all the data here. And now I will show you a short way to calculate this with the Casio calculator. First, we need to insert the data into the calculator. We go to mode, we press three for stat, and now we choose one because we have only one variable. And now we have 27 equal 33 equal 35, 39, 42, 46, and 51 equal. And I press the all clear button here in order for the calculator to save these values. Now we go and press shift. This yellow key here is used to access each of the yellow options above each key. We press shift and we press one for stat. Now we can see here we have a menu and since standard population is a type of variation, we go and choose four. And now we can see again here we have three for population standard deviation and we have four for sample standard deviation. Since we want to calculate the population standard deviation, we will press three and then equal. And here it is. The result, sigma x is equal to 7.54. Now let's go and do our second example. The salaries of seven randomly selected employees at ACME in thousands are listed as 27, 33, 35, 39, 42, 46, and 51 thousands. Calculate the standard deviation. We see now we have seven randomly selected employees. So the company has more employees, but we have the data for seven only. So this is sample data and we calculate sample standard deviation. Again, we need to go and insert the data in our calculator. We go to mode, we choose three, and we choose one for one variable. And we insert 27 equal 33 equal 35 equal 39 equal 42 equal 46 and 51 equal. I'll press all clear button in order for the calculator to save the values. So again, I'll press the shift button here. I'll choose one for stat 
and I will choose four for variation and for sample standard deviation it is four and then equal and here it is the result 8.14 to sum up the population standard deviation is a parameter it is fixed value calculated from every individual in the population. The, stamp, the sample standard deviation is a statistic. It is calculated from only some of the individuals in a population. The sample standard deviation depends upon the sample. That's it for this video. Hopefully it helped out and thank you for watching.